Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. Today, we'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training. Today's topic will be Stock Group. Let's get started. Before we discuss about Stock Group, you need to understand one concept. In SQL Accounting software, if you create a sales transaction or purchase transaction, the double entry will be done automatically. How it works, for example, in sales, invoice, new, we create a sales invoice, save it and you can see the double entry by right click empty space show double entry you can see it automatically credit the sales account and debit customer or you can right click any column title pull out the account and know that this sales invoice will credit this sales account how the system know which account to be credit for sales invoice because in your chart account you may have different sales account. This is because every item will belong to one stock group. For example, SCT. You go to stock, maintain stock item. Look for this item, ISCT. It belongs to a stock group called furniture. We drill in further, look at furniture, and we can see that the sales account is 500-200. So that is the sales account which appear in the sales invoice for this item. So that's why stock group is very important in SQL accounting software. You must understand the concept. Normally, if you only have one sales account or one purchase account, we just use as default. No setting need to be done. So the first reason for you to set stock group is if you have multiple sales or purchase account. The second reason for you to set different stock group is because you want to differentiate your item into different category. Example, let's say you sell furniture, lighting, and you want to separate them into different grouping. So in certain sales report, you want to base on stock group to see the report instead of individual item. Then you may need to have different group, even you only have one sales account or one purchase account. The third reason is because in stock group, you can set different costing method SQL accounting system support three different costing methods, which is fixed costing, FIFO, first in, first out, and also weighted average. To create a new stock group, you just need to go to stock, maintain stock group, click new, give stock group a code, example, group A, then select the costing method, normally it's first in, first out, select the sales account, cash sales, sales return, balance sheet stock group, purchase code, which is the purchase account, cash purchase account, and also purchase return. Set this accordingly. If you do not set any code over here, what will happen is the system will automatically use the tools option general ledger. It will use the default account that's set over here. Then later, when you create your stock item, you need to select this stock item is belong to which group, which we will discuss in the next video. So this is the way to do stock group in SQL accounting system. If you are interested in SQL accounting system or you want to sign support maintenance with us, please contact us directly. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. See you in the next video. Thank you.